Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. This is Buddy from Baltimore, and yes, I was there, head-to-toe, Browns gear, but I want to talk about one of the lesser-known guys, Mike Ford Jr. He rocked Lamar something serious on a clean hit at the sideline and then picked him off one play later. Then we got Njoku. He showed a glimpse of exactly what he can do. Miles was Miles. What else can you say? He's a one of a kind. And then Deshaun, 14 for 14 in the second half, and he willed this team to win. He showed what kind of a leader he was. And lastly, we have Mr. Ford, 109 yards. What a team win. Go Browns. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Scott, you know, he alluded to Mike Ford and – there were a number of guys. I mean, Jerron Christian, we, we didn't hear his name, and he was starting at left tackle. That means he played really well. Uh, Ford, and, and I mean, they, everybody was getting banged up. And um, again, that's, that's a sign of, a, of good coaching when you, can, when you can perform with your second, third, fourth guys. There's no, there's no doubt about it. It's a sign of good coaching. I, I think you have to give the front office some credit for – Having a deep enough roster that guys can come off the bench and fill in. Um, you know, Christian only got signed to the practice squad on Halloween. He got signed to the active roster last Tuesday, and he plays a left tackle for you. And, and I don't think he was perfect, but he was good enough. Um, you know, and if DeWan Jones comes back this week at right tackle, which we don't know if he will, I wouldn't be surprised if they keep Christian at left tackle and Hudson goes back to being the swing guy off the bench and that extra lineman. I don't know that. I just won't be surprised by it. Um, and, and Mike Ford, right? Mike Ford gets a big hit of Lamar, picks him off on the next play. He's been really good on special teams all year. Um, you know, but he's probably your fifth corner, right? You got Ward, Emerson, Newsom, Cam Mitchell, and then Ford. And so, you know, he's your fifth guy, and he comes in and he plays valuable minutes. It's not, not perfect, right? He gives up the slant touchdown to OBJ. Um, you know, but that's going to happen. You trust your guys in man to man. And, and that's what kind of interests me, Dave, is, you know, you're watching the game and you think, oh my gosh, they're down to fifth corner. They're down to fourth and fifth tackles. And you think, man, how can they do it? Or how can they trust these guys? They had the Anthony Bell playing at safety for a while because they had injuries at safety. And yet you, the coaches have no choice, but to trust them. And they practice with them. They see them all the time. And they say, yeah, hey, we're not going to change up too much, right? Maybe you tweak something here or there, but you just got to trust your guys. And when they deliver for you, I think it's a great message for everybody in the team.